Good morning everyone, how are you? It is New Year's Eve here in Australia today. Um, so, but I thought I would just um, go through the different sorts of pen storage that I use. Um, so we'll just, we'll jump right in. I have three of these gallon leather cases. They have a very sturdy zip on them. Um, they have um, a felt lining and a felt flap to protect the pens when it's closed, like that. Um, and they just fold over and you've got your pen sitting there. And this is quite handy for sitting on your desk because then you can just pull your pens out as you go. So it's really um, easy to use. It's um, a very sturdy pen case. Um, it really protects the pens. Um, and I've got three of these. They each hold 10 pens. So that's the crate. This is the Crazy Horse Brown. And then I've got two of the, the Crazy Horse Green ones. As I said, the zips are very sturdy, really good quality. So, and you just open them up like that. They're really, really, um, this, this was probably my first pen case I ever got. I was, I think it was this one here actually. Um, so Gallon Leather is a, um, a company in Turkey. Um, so these, um, Gallon Leather products come from Turkey. Um, it's a family run business and they have lots of different products from um, notebook sleeves to um, A5 sort of like, I don't know, I think they call them, oh, I don't even know what they call them, but it's like a zipper, it's like a, a folder sort of thing that you can put some pens in, it comes like with a little four pen slot you can put other bits and pieces in and then it has on the right hand side somewhere to put your journal or notebook or um, some writing paper so I've got one of those too but I haven't got it with me right now this is the the three pen case um, by Gallon Leather it's just in the brown I've got my Biscontis in there this is quite handy to take with me on the go um, it has like a little card sleeve here that you could put a card in for if you're going out and about. I tend to put some postage stamps in there sometimes if I'm going out and I'm writing on the go so that way when I'm writing letters I usually have um, envelopes and writing paper with me um, and I just keep some stamps in there so that's another really handy one to have. Now this next lot are called um, they're from a company in San Francisco called Rickshaw Bag Works. Um, and I've got a couple of different sorts here. They're made out of a canvas and they have like this um, soft fluffy um, lining to protect your pen. So we'll do the pen roll first. This is a pen roll. Um, you pull that, pull this off here and you just unroll it. Now these are wonderfully made. They are very good protection for your pens. The flap comes up and here you go it holds eight pens at the moment I've just got my Lamy's and my Gin House in here um, and they come out really easily or you can clip them onto the front here like that um, really really lovely it's very soft lining it's actually really tactile nice to feel <laughs> this is all canvas of course like a um, pattern canvas so and then to close it you just roll it up Pull this around like that, flip it back over the little toggle here and pull and there you have it. So that's the first rickshaw bag works I have. Then we've got this, now this is called a pen koozie, um, it is made out of canvas, I got mine in the Van Gogh series. Um, so it has two zippers at the top and it has a pocket at the front. So you could put like a small notebook in the front there. Um, you open it up like this and you can put things in it. I've actually got other Rickshaw Bagworks pen cases in here. Um, so you can fill it with these sorts of things. That, um, 
to put in here. See, but it's just canvas on the inside, made in the USA. Um, it's also got very sturdy zippers and pulls on it. Um, it's much more lightweight than the Gallon Leather 10 pen case. And this can hold, I'd say, up to 10 or 12 pens even. Um, in mine, I have two smaller single pen sleeves. Um, I'll show you this. They've also got that very sort of fluffy lining in them. So, and then I've got two of the three um, pen sleeves. So once again, they've got that fluffy, lovely lining to protect them. Really, really nice. Lovely, lovely protection for your pens. So I tend to put those in here. And I'll put these two down the middle, like that. And then I also have this, I've got two of these actually, Franklin Christoph um, little zipper pen cases. Now, when you buy a Franklin Christoph pen, it usually comes with one of these. So I've actually put both of my Franklin Christophs into this one pen case. So two pens fit in there quite easily for me. Um, it's quite nicely lined, just with like a cotton. Um, but they don't tend to scratch or anything and I usually keep this in here as well so with that I can fit what's that six I can fit ten pens in here easily so that's the next one um, now I also have this paper blanks um, pencil case that sits on my desk it has a magnetic closure and it's just a box. It's a very sturdy sort of cardboard. Um, it is. It just has my dick pens in it and a little paper cutter. So that sits on my desk. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't travel anywhere with me. And then I also have a set of these um, five drawers on my desk. So they're just like a clear plastic perspex drawer. Um, you can, in Australia, we tend to get them from places like the reject shop or a discount store or I believe you can also get them on Amazon. I've had mine for absolute years so I can't even remember where I got mine from. But I'll quite, you've seen me use these in videos, I'll quite often line all my pens up and just have it to the side. Um, and that sometimes tends to be just my pens in use at the time. Um, I might put them in there so then it's easy access at my desk. My last one, this is a pencil case I got for Christmas off my dear friend Chris. Um, she knows green is my favourite colour. So this is like a sort of a darker sort of olive green. It's got purple flowers and green flowers on it. It has this real retro feeling. Um, it's from a shop here in Australia called Typo. Um, and I've filled it up already. But the reason I liked this one, I thought this is going to be really really handy it's got a really large compartment at the top yeah. so I have filled mine with um, cards and postcards and envelopes and things to have on the go ready to go um, this second compartment is slightly smaller but it sits on the outside I've got postage stamps and stickers in here and then this bottom one I really liked because it's enough room to hold a pen or two let's try that so I'll put this this has got two pens in it let's put that in here and see how that goes yeah see so it's like almost I've made it like a little stationary writing kit I guess and it's I as you know I do a lot of letter writing so this is really, really handy for, um, I, I, sometimes I even just take this to the living room because I don't want to sit at my desk and write letters or I'm watching something aimlessly on TV so I can sit on the sofa and have this little tray table thing that I can put on my lap and write. So that's something that I could just carry around with me or if I did want to go and sit in a cafe somewhere and write letters, I could take this with me. It's, it's not too heavy. Um, it's very practical and I really, really love it. So thank you, Chris. 
Um, so yes, that's that is my pen storage that I have. Um, I really love each of them for all their all their different reasons. Um, and let me know what you tend to put your pens in. I know some people have these beautiful, um, I think it's from Taroko, uh, Taroko Craft, I think, in Japan. They have these beautiful wooden pen um, cases that it's like almost like a little mini chest of drawers that holds all your pens. They look wonderful, but I also know they're very, very expensive. Um, so this is something that has been built up over the last seven to eight years, I guess, um, of my pen storage that I use. And at this point in time, excluding excluding that and excluding that, um, all of this here, it is enough to hold 53 fountain pens. Um, and if you've watched my last video, you know that I'm already up to 51 fountain pens. So, um, I've got room for two more, or I sell some of the ones I don't use as much to make room for more, or I just buy another pen case. <laughs> um, but yes, so anyway, that is it for today, guys. Um, I hope wherever you are in the world that you are staying stay, um, that you are well and um have a lovely day and evening and thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed i really appreciate it and i'll see you back here next time take care everyone bye